Were you hurt? No, I'm all right. Got the car here? Yeah. Give me a ride back to town, will you? All right. Come on. Hello, Kennedy. Hello, Gaunt. Any luck? Hmm. Take a look at this. The records show that he was released the day before Dr. Geronda disappeared. Clinches it. Joe Mitchell killed Montgomery. What was his motive? We'll clear that up when we find out why Mrs. Geronda came to Hobart's room. Where does Hobart fit in? Perhaps it's the old story of thieves falling out. Hmm. Situation makes it look bad for Mrs. Geronda, eh? Before we jump at conclusions, let's see what Mrs. Geronda has to say. Stop acting like a caged animal. I don't like that crack. You've got no one to blame but yourself for spoiling the best chance you ever had of making a fortune. That's my hard luck and a break for you. Your end of the Zeronda Go formula will make you plenty. Come on, do I get what I want? I guess you do. And that's the whole sordid story. Of course. I'm glad you told me the truth, Mrs. Geronda. And Mother has nothing to worry about anymore. Nothing. If you'll just stay here with your mother, I have an appointment downstairs. Thank you. Now, don't you worry, Mother. Everything's going to be all right. Well, it didn't take you long. No, I'm glad to say... I've cleared up Mrs. Geronda's connection with this case. Oh, she came clean, eh? Yes. She was married to Joe Mitchell when he was sent to prison. On what charge? Blackmail. She divorced Mitchell and married Dr. Geronda. When Mitchell was released from the penitentiary, he immediately began to blackmail Mrs. Geronda. Threatened to tell that she was the wife of an ex-convict, eh? Yes. And uh, Mitchell's appearance, shortly after Dr. Geronda vanished... Made it look bad for both of them. Did she tell what she was doing in the colonnade when Montgomery was stabbed? It seems that she had an appointment in the colonnade with Mitchell. And when Montgomery came in, she left. She didn't want Montgomery to see her talking to Mitchell. But why did Mitchell do away with Montgomery? Mitchell believed that Montgomery was spying on them and killed him. Oh. Hey, Craig. Shirley's got some information that might mean a break in this case for you. What is it, Miss McMillan? Mr. Denton asked me to come to his apartment. And while I was waiting in the reception room, I overheard him talking to a man named Hobart. What did they say? Hobart said he first had to get some assets at the Harbor Hotel to take aboard ship before leaving the country. Anything else? Denton told Hobart he had no one to blame for the trouble he was in but himself. Did he mention what the trouble was? No, but Mr. Hobart said that Mr. Denton's share of the Geronda Gold formula would make him a very rich man. Yes, continue. Well, I thought Mr. Denton was coming into the reception room, so I told the butler I couldn't wait, and then I would see Mr. Denton later. Gaunt, we've got to find out what these assets are that Hobart has hidden at the Harbor Hotel. 
If Denton calls you again, Miss McMillan, you make some excuse until you hear from me. All right, Gaunt. Come on, Walter. Number eight. Here, sir. Number three. Here. Number two. Present. Number eight. You get the subject aboard the Nellie D at once. Yes, sir. Number two. You help number eight take care of Captain Hansen. Yes, sir. Now, men, remember, you all know what you have to do. And uh, don't shoot unless you have to. All right. Take your places. Nobody here, Craig. They may be in the room on the other side. Well, let's take a look. Well, a wheelchair, eh? What's this? Cuff link? Link with the initial G on it. I'll bet that stands for Geronda. Geronda. Dr. Geronda. You're right, Jameson. His wheelchair, and he's been in this room. Jameson? Yeah, I'm all right. How about you? Fine. Hey, that's a very clever idea, that shoot. Yeah. It's no doubt constructed to run a wheelchair up and down. I wouldn't doubt it.
Sullivan. Captain Hanson, too. What happened, Sullivan? Well, I was watching the Nellie D when the crew, aided by some new members, mutinied. Captain Hanson went up to try to stop him, and they took after him. I tried to help the captain, and they uh, conked me. They all mutinied at all of them. He was overpowered and thrown in the hole. Say, Craig, just before the fight started, I heard the initials PG mentioned. PG? That must mean Paul Gironda. The Nellie D is sailing with a new captain. They've evidently got the doctor aboard. And if we're going to save him, we're going to have to hurry. Well, how do we get out of here? Well, that's the door they brought us down through. Dr. Geronda, I'm glad we're in time. I'll get some help and we'll get you out of here.
Dr. Deronda. I'm glad we're in time. I'll get some help and we'll get you out of here. Time, Captain. How are things going on deck? They forced me down the companionway. I took refuge in the first room I came to. They're closing in all around us. What? Captain? You bet. <laughs> Like Olaf is head man aboard this ship. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> well, looks like the picnic's over, Craig. Yes, we've got Dr. Gerondo aboard ship, and we've got to get him ashore. Dr. Gerondo? Where is he? Down here in the captain's cabin. We've got to take him home. Now, listen, you better go and get the car right away. Okay. <clears throat> we'll get him up, Captain. All locked up down the hole. That's fine, Sullivan. Give a hand here with Dr. Durant. I got the car ready, Craig. Good. Take care of Dr. Durant. Careful now. We'll get him up, Captain. to run. Let's go. Hey, 
Take Dr. Duran to home and drive as carefully as you can. I'm going back to the Harbor Hotel. I'll see you later. Okay. Sullivan, you stick with me. We'll take care of it. Any news, Gaunt? The rats have all gone to their holes. Have you seen anything of Hobart? No. I found Dr. Geronda. Jameson's taking them home. Well, that's great work, Kennedy. I'm going over to the Geronda home now. I want to see what information I can get from the doctor. All right, give me a call if you hear anything, will you? I shall. Uh, Sullivan. Daily board meeting as usual, Mr. Denton? What's that? What meeting? The board meeting. Oh, yes, the board meeting. I'll say there's going to be a board meeting. That's all, Miss Dillon. How do you do, ladies? How do you do? How's your father? Why? What do you mean? Isn't he here? Didn't Walter bring him home? Why, no. Do you mean you found Dr. Geronda? Why, yes, of course. Oh, how is he? He's just fine. In great shape. As a matter of fact, I expect Walter along here any moment with him. Oh, I must tell Mother. Won't Mr. Denton be surprised to hear this? Why did you mention Mr. Denton? Why, he just phoned me. Say, Craig. Where's Dr. Geronda? He's gone again. What do you mean? Well, they held us up and overpowered us and took your car and took Dr. Geronda also. Miss McMillan, just before Walter came in, you mentioned that Denton had phoned you again. Yes. He wanted to know when I was going to keep that appointment. You're going to keep that appointment now. Here's what I want you to do. Hi, fellas. Nice work, boys. Now, get out. Oh, Mother. 
Mother, I'm sorry, but Walter couldn't help it. He was outnumbered. Yes. Yes, I know. He was outnumbered. Oh, but then... Then it... Do you realize that... That they may kill your father? But Mr. Kennedy said there was no danger of that. Father means more to them alive than dead. Alive. Alive. Yes, alive. I'll tell Mr. Denton you're here. Thank you. McMillan, I'm certainly glad that you came. Well, now that I'm here, Mr. Denton, what is it you want? Well, uh, have you given any thought about our last conversation relative to the missing gold formula? Mr. Denton, I told you that I had no idea where the formula was. And if I did know that I would... Yes, I know, Miss McMillan. But won't you come over on my side in this matter? You know, I can certainly make it well worth your while. And you profit more than being just a private secretary. I beg your pardon. Miss McMillan, will you please oblige me by leaving the room? Why, yes, of course. Denton, you're under arrest. What for? For the murder of Joe Mitchell. Now, Geronda, I'm not a doctor, but I've got my suspicions. There's a specialist on his way here, and when he restores your memory, I want your gold formula. Geronda, if you know what's good for you, you'll talk. Come on, quit stalling. I don't... Denton, I've just got a hunch that Hobart is going to drop into your apartment. Haven't you got him in jail? No. Then I've been tricked. We'll talk about that later. Come on, Jameson. You will double-cross me, will you? You're the double-crosser, telling the police that I killed Mitchell. You're a liar. Where's Paul Geronda? I haven't got him. Don't lie to me. Come clean. Where is he? I tell you, I don't know where he is. Stay right where you are. The game is up, Hobart. Every statement you made about Dr. Geronda's gold formula has been recorded on a dictaphone placed in this room. Get together, you two. 